Hello everybody and welcome back to some more League of Lore. The Pongor Stormfiend. This time around we're looking at Ash, the Frost Archer. With each arrow she fires from her ancient ice enchanted bow, as proves she is a master archer. She chooses each target carefully, waits for the right moment, and then strikes with power and precision. It is with the same vision and focus that she pursues her goal of uniting the tribes of the Frel Yord and forging them into a mighty nation. As a child, Ash was always a dreamer. She marveled at the colossal abandoned fortresses of her ancestors and spent hours by the fire listening to tales of the Frel Yord's fabled champions. Most of all, she loved the legend of Avarosa. The renowned queen of the once magnificent and united Freljord. Though her mother en uh, chided her foolishness, Ash swore one day she would join the scattered and warlike tribes of the tundra. She knew in her heart that if her people would stand together once more, they would reach greatness again. When Ash was only fifteen, her mother was killed while commanding the tribe into a brash raid. Suddenly thrust into the role of leader, Ash made the difficult decision to follow her childhood vision instead of seeking the wrench grave. She spoke passionately against her tribe's demand for retribution, declaring that time had come to put blood feuds aside and broker a lasting peace. Some of her warriors questioned her fitness to rule and soon hatched a treacherous plot to kill the young leader. The assassin struck while Ash was on a routine hunt. But their plan was interrupted by the warning cry of a great hawk. Ash looked back to see her tribesmen approaching with swords drawn. Outnumbered and overwhelmed, Ash ran for hours. She found herself deep in uncharted territory, her weapon lost in the chase. When she heard another cry from the hawk, Ash put her faith into the strange creature and followed it to a clearing. There she found the bird perched on a pile of stones an ancient Freljord burial cairn. With a last glance at her, the hawk screeched and flew away. Approaching the mound, Ash felt her breath turn to frost, and an unnatural cold chill her to her bones. Stone at the top of the cairn was marked with a single rune, Avarosa. The assassins burst into the clearing. Ash lifted the mysterious rune from the cairn to defend herself, revealing something hidden underneath, an ornate bow carved from ice. She grasped it, crying out in pain as the frost formed on her fingers and tore the bow from its resting place. Cold flowed from the enchanted weapon into Ash, awakening a tremendous power that had always lived within her. Ash turned to, the f to face the assassins. She drew the bow and by sheer instinct, willed arrows of pure ice from the cold, crisp air. With a single frozen volley, she ended the insurrection. Carefully replacing the current stone, she gave thanks to Avarosa for her gift and returned home. Ash's tribe immediately recognized the legendary weapon in the archer's hand as a blessing from the ancient Freljord queen herself. With Avarosa's bow and her vision of peace, unification, Ash's tribe soon swelled, becoming the largest in the Threlyord. Now known as the Avarosan, they stand together with the belief that a united Threlyord will once again become a great nation. So, that's a bit of history on Ash. Um, there is a lot of talk that Ash is the descendant of Avarosa. And based on the fact that the Great Hawk helped her, as well as uh, um, the fact that she found the bow, that seems to support it quite a lot. Um, that being said, there is no actual confirmation that Ash is the descendant of Avarosa. So, you know... That's just it. Um, Avarosa was one of three sisters, basically, that ruled the Freljord. Uh, 
they were basically immortal beings of ice, I guess, is the easiest way of putting it. Avarosa actually gave up her immortality. What for? Uh, again, not something that we really know. It had something to do with stopping uh, Lysandra, we do believe. Um, Lysandra is one of the original three sisters. And then we also have Sejuani, who disputes Ash's claim to the Freljord. And Sejuani is a descendant from Seralda. Seralda, the third sister, who's also deceased. Again, no full confirmation that that is actually a case that uh, that she's a descendant. But that seems to be the most logical course, since her and Ash, as well as Cassandra, are in, um, you know, uh, dispute. Now, currently, however, Ash has a alliance with Lysandra, although Ash has no knowledge that she is the Ice Witch, so that's a thing as well. Um, aside from that, some other people that Ash has interaction with is, uh, Ash is very close friends with both Lanivia and Nunu, and Willem, of course. Um, when Ash became the queen of the Freljord by marrying Trindamir, she personally supported, Nu uh, not supported, appointed Nunu as Freljord's league emissary. So that should show you how much faith she has in her, uh, him. Uh, again, as I just mentioned, Ash is married to Trindamir, though this is more a uh, political thing than a romantic thing. Um... Ash and Trinamir have a business partnership with Gragas. Uh, they sold him ownership of uh, Freljord's Avarosa Ice Flow Glacier. Um, he had also apparently solved the problem of the unification of a lesser tribe with the Avarosan tribe by getting everyone drunk and drowning their troubles away. Um... Ash has met with Quinn and Valor while the two were on a scouting expedition uh, into the Freljord. Um, something very rare about this is the fact that Valor actually liked Ash, which is surprising and rare, apparently. Um, something that also really strongly uh, supports the claim that Ash is a descendant of Avarosa is uh, the fact that light on uh, the Howling Abyss is quoted as saying, you bear a strong resemblance to Avarosa, which again, supports that claim. Um, so one last thing, I'm going to leave you with a quote from Ash. Uh, it is our duty to speak of unity. Here, among the ruins of our past, now our people stand divided, torn apart, by ancient hatreds. Brothers and sisters, our enemy is not our neighbor. Our enemy is a land without law in a long winter's night. It is hunger, poverty, desperation, and chaos. Look around you. These monuments from a bygone age, each older and grander than anything wrought by our hands. These are the works of a united Freljord, a fractured land that we can repair. From these runes, we can raise a great nation. We are the people of the Freljord, and this land belongs to us all. Anyways, this has been my works on Ash. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. And remember, one tribe, one people, one Freljord.